James G here reporting for teammuscle.com. I'm here with Sean Tavernier and Nathan Harmon. Uh, great result for Nathan, obviously. He's just um, helped Ricardo win his first UK British victory. But we're going to have a quick catch up. Second, by the overall. Beg your pardon. Um, we're just going to have a quick catch up with uh, Sean. So, Sean, what did you make of today's show? It was a fantastic show. Uh, fantastic depth throughout the classes and uh, the best man won on the day. Yeah. yeah. Besides Ricardo, any standout competitors for you today? Oh, wow. I mean, it was quite a few to choose from. Uh, Dave Titterton, I felt, was the best he's looked in, well, I've ever seen him. Absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, Ricardo. Um, do you know what? There were was, was so many other names. My ex-training partner Dan Juma that, that came second in the uh, in the heavies. That's the best I've ever seen him look. His condition was absolutely phenomenal. I thought he could have won the heavies, and um, uh, yeah. So um, I, I think overall it was good depth, and uh, as I said before, the best man won on the day. Sure. Yeah. What do you make of the new fitness classes that we're seeing becoming so popular in, in the IFBB and the UK BFF? Do you think it's, it's a good thing for the sport? Obviously, it's bringing more people in. It's it's not necessarily bodybuilding, which I know is. is more your thing but uh, give us your thoughts on these new classes um, anything that's going to broaden the sport and get it out there I'm up for obviously you know I have to be quite honest I don't really take much notice of that particular class because it's just not my sort of thing but I mean anything that's going to promote the sport uh, and, and give it some growth I'm up for it excellent yeah okay so when's your next competition you know I was going to hear you with that one <laughs> well, I've got a few injuries in that to get over at the moment, so uh, I'm just ticking over with regards to training and working around my injuries. And you know, it won't be too long before you see me on stage. I guess that because obviously you're working with this gentleman and uh, got a very good reputation in the industry. Nathan, do you want to talk a little bit about the work you're doing with Sean? Um, Sean's eating fish and chips at the moment. No, 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 no. To be honest. Um, when I'm working with Sean, I, you know, we just work on his on his diet side of things. He's um, he he does his own training. He's very good with his training, you know. And um, even you know, we're, we're we're learning together. You know, it, it's not just about me. This guy, you know, he's teaching me a lot of things as well. You know, over the years, the years of experience, um, and you know, we're, uh, obviously, um, he's had a few years off now because. Um, you know, he got married and he's got a couple of niggles, so he's, he's got to address them because he's getting older. He's no spring chicken. No less wider. <laughs> so, you know, like he says, once he comes back, you know, he, he, he knows what he's doing. We're going to do it. And, you know, hopefully you're going to see a much improved package from what you've previously seen. And, you know, that's going to put him back at the top where, you know, obviously from his last showing at the Olympia fifth place, 2011 Rookie of the Year, um, we, we've got to go forward from there. So this is why he, he's had to take this time off because there was a gap between his physique from fifth to first. And obviously, you know, it's closing the gap, closing the gap, closing the gap. So he's taking the time, he's training when he can, obviously depending upon what the situation is of, of his injuries now. And, you know, when he comes back into his diet and we've got our plan, he, he's following that as we speak. And, um, you know, once we come into the, the, the full on what we call contest prep, obviously the, the cutting phase. And I like my guys to grow into that also as well because we do change the food and we do bring them in and try and get them as big as possible, obviously as lean as possible as well but you know this guy's doing the hard work like every athlete out there you know it's it, it, you know it's it's a good support network but these guys are the ones putting it in they're eating the meals they're doing the training and uh, I'm eating the McDonald's <laughs> Well, sure. I just wanted to say, you know, it was a fantastic show put on by the UK BFF. Uh, all the judges did a fantastic job. Um, you know, Bill Teeny, the president, they've, they've, they've done a fantastic job with this uh, British uh, Championships this year. So well done to uh, Mr. Bill Teeny and Wanda Teeny. Excellent. Well, Sean, we'd like to wish you the best of luck on behalf of everybody at Team Muscle when you do decide to step back on stage. Um, Nathan, you're a man with a reputation for bringing people back much improved. And uh, one of those guys is standing over there talking to about a millionth person of the day. Can we get him in on this as well? Sean, thanks very much. Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo. That's Ricardo. 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 Sky one. <laughs> okay, so James G here for TeamMuscle.com. I'm stood here with the latest IFBB pro, Ricardo Correa. How are you feeling after your victory? Oh, mate, just over the moon. He's, you know, you got guys like my super coach. He's just a brother to me anyway. He's been in, he's been so close. They didn't let nothing miss in special. After last week, I got beaten in Arnold Classic. So we brought up for this show because a lot of people thought I was done. But 
he knows, he knows, and he believe in myself. So he was, he was there constantly. There we was doing three hours cardio. I uh, was doing three hours pose in a day. We didn't rest to make sure we bring everything for this show, and we made it. He's made it. You know, I give the credits, big up to my, my super coach. He's the know? one doing the hard work, this guy here, and you know, all the athletes do the hard work. This is the guy doing the hard work he's putting in. And all my athletes know I push him, you know. Did you do three hours cardio today? Mate, I was banging cardio <laughs> like mad. Three hours in one minute, yeah? I, I, thought, I thought that never, I thought that never ends. So, he, but worth he it. He didn't worth do it. three hours, but he was, he was working hard, and you know, I pose hard, and and, and I make them work and you know and because I believe in them and and you know and, and after last weekend we've had probably some of the, the last two weeks have been for you know for both of us for personal reasons as well as it has been a, a, a nightmare and you know we stayed strong there was a point where was we gonna do it you know and, and and we come strong because we believed we was positive and you know good things have, have, have come from this weekend and boy I'm tell us how you feel obviously after one week ago you were at the Arnold Madrid, yeah. sixth place, obviously not the result you wanted. Yeah. Um, so that must have been a little bit of a knock for you. So did it give you some extra motivation to come back and do your million hours cardio? And I was ready to retire. <laughs> I, I was, I don't even lie, I, got, I was beaten for two days. I feel like, do I, do I really need to do go through all these to get a pro card. I was in pain, I was in pain. If I say I don't, I'm lying. But when you got guys like Sean Tavernier, Nathan Arman, a great family, everyone said, you're not gonna give up. We're gonna do it. The job is not end yet, you know? So we made it in the new FBB Pro. I, I still don't even believe I'm over the moon, but, the you need to change your Facebook name now. Yeah, the the FBB Rude Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Rude Boy on there, but just just hey, FBB you know, Pro. He's even got a hat, you know, you know, not missing out. So but tell us, did um, did you think it was close between you and Dave Titterton? Because obviously the fans at home, TeamMuscle.com, everybody felt it was he was running each other very very close. I mean, I yeah. couldn't call it personally. So tell yeah. us what was going through your head when you were stood next to him and. Yeah, he's a lump. As you guys know, he's no, he's a super. I'm not like heavy, so he, he could have gone his way because of the size and he was in super condition he was dry you know I just I just know the thing is I bring my balance I got the roundness and all that so could I go in any other ways but so please come in my way so I was fighting for this for so long but I spoke to Dave he's a good friend of mine and I said keep your head up do your job you're the next pro so don't let these things just go away he's still a British champ you know he do. Uh, he knows exactly what he got to do to to win his title. So we're definitely going to get some sessions together as well. So that's well, that's, we that's that's great. I mean, I saw you. I remember seeing you guest pose at the Welsh not so long ago, yeah. and you looked pretty much show ready even then. So I was very excited to see what you were bringing today, and I think you thoroughly deserve the win. So congratulations. Yeah, um, I'm going to let you go in a second because I can see you're dying for some food and oh, some water. Ice cream. One final question: What does the next 12 months hold for Ricardo Career and for Nathan? I'm going to leave in Nathan Zand. I'm going to put a pressure on him. Nathan. We're just gonna get fat together. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get fat, and he's gonna get fat. <laughs> fat in Abbey. Now we we we've obviously got to sit down, and you know um, we're gonna to celebrate tonight. Um, like, firstly, we'd just like to thank everyone, UK BFF, for you know the guys that put the shows on, because without them, you wouldn't be bringing these fantastic athletes into the, you know, giving them opportunities. So, without the guys here, you know, they're the first person people that you got to thank, Bill and Wonder, for the hard work that they actually do for everyone else. You know, so. Thank you all to them and obviously from, from Ricardo, but the, the period of time now, we're going to sit down, we're going to analyse everything. You know, he's got improvements to make because he, yeah. he won't be able to step on a stage yet and be yeah. competitive, obviously, as you, you know, when we was just with Sean, you know, he was fifth at, at the Olympia and he's yeah. had to take the time out to make the improvements, so he probably wants a holiday as well, you know. <laughs> It's been a few. Years. Not to Madrid, no. No, no, no. Definitely won't. I never go back there again, mate. <laughs> but it's gonna take some time off. Give because when you do bodybuilding, you become selfish. So my family's right in the back there. The little one. They deserve. They was. They didn't even took holiday to make sure everything was right there t for me. So I'm gonna take my time just for them. Just what I'm gonna do, and then we make a plans after that. You know, but. I'll be, I'll be better. This is not my best yet. You know. Well, we can't wait to see what your best is going to be. Um, and obviously, I believe Mr. Harmon over there is the man to, to bring the best out on you. So once again, congratulations from TeamMuscle.com and from myself, um, Ricardo Correa, IFBB Pro. The rude boy. TeamMuscle.com, James G reporting on behalf of also Protein Lifestyle. Guys, congratulations. Stay, stay tuned. Yeah, boy. <laughs>